If you still if you still want to vote in this year's primary election, you have just over two hours left to get to the polls. While most of the day has gone pretty smoothly, some counties did say they had a few bumps. Amy Wattis is live to break down what happened. Amy. Yeah, we're live from the Northside Partnership Project, one of the polling spots here on the north side. And things have been actually really slow since we've been out here this afternoon. You can see some poll workers standing around. And while, you know, things have been going slow, they have also been going smoothly here. But a few other precincts around the area did run into some problems. I came to vote and I was told by, I guess, other poll workers that the judge didn't show and the location is closed. The McKnight United Methodist Church did not open to voters until 930 this morning, two and a half hours late. Volunteers say someone didn't show up to unlock the door and neither did the judge due to health issues. We had some poll workers call off due to sickness. Uh, we had some places that are short poll workers. The county says they also received a number of calls from people reporting that polling places were running low on ballots. We're getting reports that they believe they're running short. I don't think anybody's ran out yet. Um, but we are in the process logistically of getting additional ballots to all these locations. Other minor issues included volunteers campaigning too close to a polling place, a road closure near a precinct, and a tree cutting crew obstructing a polling spot. But mostly it was a smooth day at the polls. I always come in here to vote. Yeah. Can't talk about it if you don't vote. Can't complain. I want my voice to be heard, that's all. Well, I vote all the time, so I think it's very important. But yeah, absolutely. Now, as of 4 p.m., Allegheny County's spokesperson says close to 79,000 mail-in and absentee ballots have been scanned. The county says between 350 to 500 of those ballots have been returned to the county office building today, and they will be brought to the warehouse after the polls close tonight at 8. Now, I also was in touch with some of the elections offices and commissioners in surrounding counties, and overall, they say they had minor problems, too. Reporting live, Amy Wattis, KDK News.